All righty, time for another edition of Science Sunday here at the Connecticut Science Center in our capital city. Joined by Jace. Good morning. Good morning, Mark. How are you doing? Uh, doing well. I, I see a catapult on the table. Yeah, I thought we'd uh, wind back the clock a little bit okay. and look at uh, some more medieval technology. All so, right. I do have a catapult with us today, and we're just going to talk about, like, how does a catapult work? Because, you know, I've seen these in movies before. They're kind of, you know, big popular, they're not even popular, but big, you know, focal points of you yeah. seen in films, shows, movies, all that good stuff. So, they're actually pretty simple the way it works. So, we have our little cargo holder up here, so we'll be launching out of. So, today we're just going to use some eraser caps okay. as our ammo. <laughs> and they're a relatively straightforward process. So, the most important thing we need is some way to create that potential and kinetic energy. So potential kind of storing it up, kinetic releasing it. Mm -hmm. And to do that, we're using rubber bands. So right now these rubber bands are holding on to this little dowel. And what we'll see is when I start to pull this back, they stretch. Stretch them, yep. Now if I was to let go, like a rubber band does, we'll snap back into place. And that's going to be our transfer of energy that makes stuff launch. Okay. So we'll do a little initial test run here, <laughs> see if I can get it into our bowl today. The goal, the bowl. So we'll pull back, we'll aim it up, we'll see, hopefully, three, two, one. A little too far. A little, yeah, overshot, just a little bit. But the cool thing about catapults <coughs> is we can adjust the trajectory arc by changing how much tension we have in the rubber bands. So if I was to go ahead and wrap these again on both sides. It's creating more tension. More tension. We can actually see that it's pulling a little more down to begin with already. So, when I go again to try and fire our good old catapult and I pull down, we're creating even more potential energy. Like I need energy. to get farther away given <laughs> the uh, greater tension. We'll see. Maybe Here we I go. Three, this. two, one. Closer. Uh, yeah. All Closer, right. So a little more accurate shot. And the cool thing about this is we can just keep wrapping and wrapping it. We'll do it a third time. Maybe the th third time will be the charm. It's really, it's a pretty simple machine. It's just a transfer of energy, and we're launching stuff. All right, good stuff. And while you're setting that up, we should let everyone know about a really cool event here happening at the Science Center on, uh, on the 6th of December. Yeah, so we're going to have our Polar PJ party. It's a really awesome after-hours event. It'll be from 5 to 9, and you can come in your PJs, get nice and warm, and then come hang out with us on some chilly nights. And uh, we'll have a bunch of... Just cool winter-themed activities going on. We'll be showing the Polar Express in the movie theater. We'll have some just cool science events, activities going on throughout the floors. Don't want to spoil them yet. But it's a, it a good time. I definitely recommend coming out. And you clearly come in your PJs. Yes, exactly. We, that we want encourage you to come in your that, yeah. PJs. Encourage it. We want and what's to cool about this event, too, is it's, you know, science centers are only 10 to 4, so this is an outside of the normal hours operation, a yes. nighttime kind of experience. Um, and, it, and, and you mentioned the movie. That is an add-on, we should point out. Greg, yeah, that is an add-on to our movie theater as, in addition to your normal ticket price. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it is a good after-hours event for some extra science center fun. And All right, we'll, one, uh, last, one last launch. We'll go one last try. We'll see if we can get lucky. Let's see how it goes. Oh, ah, too I far. Got All right. <laughs> All right, Jace, thank you so much. And of course, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.